Alright, well it's had time to dry. You can see how thick that is. But uh we're gonna try to get it a little bit better looking. After uh wet sanding, this is pretty much where it's at. Now see this is kind of the idea I had of the red kind of bleeding through when I wet sanded it. But I didn't want so much white bleeding through. So I don't know if that's going to work how I want it. Because that's quite a bit of white. But we'll see. Maybe I can get this uh, going over again. I did get another 2X can. Because I had this brilliant idea that I would switch out the spray nozzle. Only problem is... This has a bigger hole than all the other spray nozzles, such as this one. So there's really nothing I can do about putting a different nozzle on there unless I order a kit, which I'm not going to have time for. So <sighs> I'm going to have to do like a round two with the spray bomb. But for now, I'm going to get started on the other side, wet sanding. Um, all I did was put soapy water in a spray bottle and I got 600 grit and I'm just going to town and it's getting smooth I wish I had an 800 grit or something but we'll get there all right went over it with a DA some uh, 400 grit brought any high spot that I could see down there's still a bun like little micro I don't know if you could see like little gloss spots but uh, it's really not worth it to get all that when the car, this is not like a final paint job. It's just a get it looking better kind of thing. If the whole car looked like this, I would actually kind of dig that. I'm almost tempted to just go around and just start sanding everything. But anyway, um, this is where it sets on this fender. I'm going to do the same to the other fender when it dries. And I'm going to try to do the 3X really fast and see what I get with it. All right, well, still not a fan. That was like a speed pass, and you can see it kind of, it just, nothing really is looking. And look, I'm getting like a chemical reaction, even. Uh, that's the look I'm kind of going for right there, where it's just peeking through. Looks very, not patino, but distressed paint. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. I think I'm going to stick with something like that. I mean, it's, it's supposed to look like, Mad Max and old and rustic. So um, I'm going to do some on the bumpers and stuff. Kind of just fill in the areas. I'm liking that though. So this is where it kind of stands now. This is as good as I'm going to get it. I did have a couple splatters. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to paint black over them or what. But kind of pretty much just looking at it just kind of coming through the paint. And that's what I was kind of going for. So now it's going to look, you know, more like it's been through some things, which it has. You know, it's not a, it's not a made up poverty story. It's really poverty because I can't afford paint. So that's why it's spray paint. So that's where I'm at right now. I think this is as good as it's going to get before the show. So um, I'll get it out in a little bit after it's dried, get the headlights in and get some things touched up. And I think I'll be, I'll be happy enough. So keep in mind that the paint was crappy. Um, it's got little dings and dents everywhere. So I just kind of continued this light brushed red splotching around. And then in areas in the corners kind of hit some spots. Just kind of outlining a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but just kind of blended it in. So now um, this has been cured enough that I can wash this car and we'll see how the results look. But the car pretty much matches all the way around. I did the tricks where I paint it, give it a couple seconds to tack up and then rinse it. And it kind of leaves some of the heavier stuff and washes away some of the lighter stuff and it kind of helps everything blend in and i am super happy with the way this turned out so i think i'm gonna move on to the next part tell me what's all thing about that oh 
Oh yeah. So, it ain't the best paint job in the world, but I think I definitely took some, uh, took some lemons and made some lemonade. What y'all think? All right, so, is it the perfect paint job? No, but it did solve the little situation I was in, I believe, for now. I think it looks decent. It's not terrible. Um... But as you can tell, there's something missing. So well, let's fix that. God help me, I got a race car. That's right, guys. We got some headlights. We got some three-piece headlights. And we got clear. Now let's show you what I got. So a few months back, my friend decided he was going to help me out with this build and send me something for the channel because I was always finding parts for him. I don't care how rare it was. I seem to be able to find it. So it just got to the point where he's like, I'm looking for this. Can you find it? And uh, Firebird Parts, and I was finding it left and right. He's like, I, thank you. So he ordered me something that I needed for my car. Now, a few months back, there wasn't a lot available. Um, we was going through this shortage for overseas and all this stuff was going down. But, uh, I think I got a really good uh, friend that, uh, I don't know how else to say it. I'm, I'm just super blessed for stuff like this. And, uh, well, let's get into it. He sent me these headlights. Now, originally, I was not a fan of these headlights. But D Creator put them in his Fox. And there's something about it that just kind of just wore on me. And now I'm, I'm loving this little, because you can add like a daytime running light right there. And it's just something to me that is really, really cool. So this has, this is a three-piece design, and it is made for my car, and it's already got the bulbs and everything in it. So all I have to do is set them in there, bolt them in, and the front will have light. Oh, well, there we go, guys. Clear headlights are in. They are just sitting there for now because I do not have the hardware, so I have to get them bolted in. But here is my rustic-looking um, half washed Mustang. So like I said, the idea was you missed it and then you wash it and it washes off in some areas and stays in some areas and it gives you this effect. But it's kind of get a, a brown look on camera, but look, look how the water drops when they dried up. It left the, oh, I love it. Super, super happy with how it went from basically trash to something somewhat presentable. Hopefully I didn't make it too nice. No, I'm just kidding. Even when it gets hard, put my faith in the Lord with these 16 bars, I won't turn around. I won't. 